this channel, we usually focus on the technical aspects of AI. However, today I'm going to shift things up and this is where I'm going to be showcasing you how to create custom trained AI chatbots. Now the reason why I want to focus on this is because it's another practical use case of artificial intelligence where you can potentially monetize and sell these chatbots. Also where you can create custom trained agents for your business or having a chatbot to assist you for personal use cases. Now you may ask, what's the benefit of personalizing chatbots with your own data? And why would you basically have it so that a business would pay for your chatbot? Firstly, personalizing a chatbot with your own data is going to ensure that it can provide accurate and relevant responses based off the specific content that you provide. In 2023, Google actually released a really cool, interesting stat where businesses were expected to have saved up 2.5 billion hours of work. And this is with chatbots, as most of these businesses had implemented AI and they were able to automate 30% of the tasks performed originally by humans. And this was able to lead up to potentially saving 0.3 billion for most small businesses and large retail stores who had implemented AI. But now you may ask, why would a business pay you specifically to create this custom GPT? Well, the reason is because you can significantly enhance their customer service. For instance, if you're a retail company, you might want to use a chatbot to handle customer inquiries. And this could be where the chatbot will provide order statuses, return policies, and product details. This is an automation that's going to reduce the workload for that business themselves as that business would require a human agent to have it so that it would provide those sorts of content back to the actual customer. This is going to improve the response times. It's going to ensure customers get assistance 24-7. And this will eventually lead up to a higher customer satisfaction. Now, this is just on the customer service aspect. There's a lot more ways that a chatbot would elevate a business. For example, it can automate various tasks, not just on the front end, for the customer service aspect but it can also help you automate the back end where it could be a copilot and it can assist you in crafting and creating various functionalities for your business now let me emphasize one thing this is not just specifically for businesses it could be used in various other use cases for personal use cases or for just crafting something so that you could utilize it for a small teams so how can we get started well, we will be utilizing this software called Custom GPT, where it will enable us to craft and create our own custom GPT with our own content. It's a no-code builder, which will easily allow us to craft these GPTs, and it's 100% private, and it has many different use cases. For example, you can grow your customer engagement and conversions with Custom GPT, where it's going to allow leads to ask questions and get instant answers based on the unique content that you had provided without needing to type any sort of keyword into the search box. This will make your chatbot more human-like, and this is a feature that will ensure quickness and accurate responses that match your brand's voice and automate the lead generation and improve pre-sales support. So let's get started. What I want you to do is click on the start free trial button, and this is where you're gonna have to create an account with Custom GPT. So once you have done that, will then proceed forward within the tutorial now just to be transparent with you guys after you have created your account this pricing structure page will prompt open and this is where it'll prompt you to start a free trial with these plans now i know this might not seem ideal but this is a free trial that you can cancel anytime it's a payment that's being made with stripe after the seven day trial now one tip that i would give you is that you can pre-sell your service and take a payment upfront from a client so for example, if you're selling this service of creating a custom GPT for a client, you can use the funds that they give you from the pre-sale and you can create an account with the service and you can get started that way. And this way there's no overhead and you can easily get started with custom GPT. Once you have created your account, you'll be then sent over to this dashboard. You can see that there is an analytic overview which will showcase your team members, the total amount of projects, the words that are stored, as well as how many queries you have made this month. You have a lot of resources which i truly recommend that you take a look at they have a doc which will go further in detail as to what you can do with custom gpt how you can do certain things such as how you can add coupon codes or how you can delete conversation history and so much more this is a gold mine if you're going to be utilizing this software on a day-to-day -day basis and it will showcase all the practical use cases of custom gpt now if you are to go back to the dashboard you can see that on the left hand side you have this sidebar which will showcase all the projects that you have created you have a support tab where it will take you to this 
chatbot, which is quite ironic. They have implemented their own custom GPT chatbot where it can ask and solve questions about whatever problem that you're having with custom GPT. For example, you can ask it general queries, like can I upload my PDF file to build the chat GPT chatbot and it'll give you an answer and it'll tell you what is required to do so. So what I'm going to be doing now is showcasing a practical use case. And this is where I'm going to be crafting my very own custom GPT. And this is going to be an example where I'm going to be building this custom GPT or the chatbot, you can say, for this business. This is a small accounting firm and I'm going to be creating a custom GPT where I'm going to infuse all the data from their website, utilizing all the features of custom GPT. And it's going to basically make it so that it's easier for all the clients that they have and it's going to answer all the questions. For example, it's going to showcase how you can process certain services, what sort of documents are needed for the tax returns and stuff like that, basically. So I'm going to feed it the context by utilizing the data ingestion feature that custom GPT provides. And I'm going to craft this accounting chatbot for that business. So let's get started. So what you want to do first is click on the create project button. This is where you're going to be able to create this chatbot. Now there's two features. You have upload and you also have the sitemap feature. This is basically a web scrapper where it's going to learn how to create and use the sitemap to train this chatbot. So what this essentially means is that it will be able to scrap through all the different pages of this website. It's going to then provide that chatbot the content and it's going to train that chatbot to respond a certain way based off this site is mapped. And this is something that you can do quite easily. Now to get the site map, what you want to do is go back to this website and go to the search tab and you want to basically just simply type in slash site map and then you want to type in dot XML and then you want to click enter. Once you have done that, you can then copy this link and then you can head over back to the custom GPT create project tab and you can then paste this in and you can then have it validated. Now, if you're having troubles like me where it's showcasing that it is not the right sitemap website, then you can head over to this app, which is a Streamlab app, and they basically will find the right sitemap. So you can then copy this URL, go back to custom GPT, paste this in, and then you're going to be able to create your project. Now, another feature is that you have this other tool, which is uploading your own files, where you're going to be able to upload various sorts of file types. And you can see that you can upload multiple files in any format whether that's PDF, docs, zip files, or ETC. So now what we're going to be doing is just pasting in the sitemap link as well as the project name and just simply clicking on create project. And there we go. We have created our project. Now it'll take a few seconds to scrape the website and collect the data. You'll know that it's done after it displays the items as index as well as the word count. So we can see that after you refresh, it's going to showcase this amount. And you can actually take a look at all the pages it was able to scrape through. So you can see that it goes through the mailing list. It goes through each and every page on this website, which is insane. So you can go to the tax services. It'll scrape through each and every page, which is awesome. Something cool to mention is that you're going to be able to go to the actions tab. You're going to be able to refresh a certain item. You can delete it. You can even go to the page log to see different logs of what is happening. And you can even have it so that you can copy the metadata. So let's actually test this out to see how well this chatbot has been made. So what we can do now is just click on this ask me anything button and it'll take us to this page where we can ask it questions. So I'm going to ask it a really brief question. What kind of services do you provide at your firm? And then within a couple of seconds, we should get an answer, which will tell us what sort of services that this accounting firm is going to be providing us. So we can see right away, it's going to go through the accounting services, the tax services, the specialized industry services. You can even go to the citations to see where the answers are coming from, which is really, really cool. It will link you to all the pages that are being referred. So in this case, it'll take us to the accounting services tab and it will give you a good idea of where it had retrieved that information. Now, say if you want to configure your chatbot even further, you're going to be able to do so with custom GPT. And this is a really great feature. Where you can click on the settings tab and you can go to your data tab. This is where you can configure it even further where you can have it integrated with Zapier. So this is an integration that will allow you to have different sorts of APIs connected to your custom GPT. For example, you can process Stripe payments with the integration of Zapier. You're going to be able to have Confluence apps integrated and you can even upload your own data for your chatbots 
afterwards now this is a really important step where you would need to go to the chatbot tab and this is where you can configure the user experience which is the ux and this is where you can change the avatar of your chatbot this is where you would want to keep it as the logo of the firm that you're working with their color schema so you would want to choose a color scheme that works for that company and then you can change the background image based off of that you can set a default prompt for your chatbot so it responds in, in a certain particular way now, if you go to the conversation setting, you're going to be able to change the default response source or you can select it to my content plus ChatGPT. But if you wanted to particularly have the responses from your own geared specific way, then you would want to keep it for your own content. So that whenever it provides context, it will only refer to the data that you have provided. You can have it so that you can choose various models such as GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 Turbo. Sooner or later, you should be able to ask, access the GPT-4 old model, which is OpenAI's new model. And that would basically make your chatbot even better. Now, if you head over to the custom persona feature, this is where you're going to be able to customize the way your chatbot behaves. So for example, if we are a firm, we'd want it to be sophisticated and respond in a particular manner where it is acting like a CPA. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go back to this section over here and we're going to actually use their persona generator this is a great way for you to generate this persona for your chatbot so i just briefly told her that create me a persona prompt for my accounting firm chatbot and i'm going to click enter and then within a couple of seconds i should get a generation for this prompt so it will then tell me the role and the goal it will give me constraints uh, it will tell me guidelines and this is something that you can copy now and then you can paste it back into this section over here so then you can have it paste it over here you can tweak it to whatever is best needed for your own preference and then you can click save changes and it will respond in that particular persona so i'm going to ask it when do i need to file my taxes i'm going to click enter and then within a couple of seconds we should get a response in the united states the deadline for filing individual tax returns is typically april 15 each year and it'll give me a detailed answer based off the context that is has been provided from the website as well as what we told it to respond as. So we told it to respond in that type of manner where it has a certain amount of constraints where it can't tell illegal advice and it would also provide a certain type of response based off that company's value. And this is the great thing about custom GPT. It gives you the flexibility to tweak all these different settings and it gives you more flexibility for your chatbot so that it becomes more personal and it becomes more human-like. Now you may be wondering, I created my chatbot, but how can I actually access it? Well, you would want to go to the sharing tab and this is where you can share a private sharing link where you can copy this and only people who have this link can access it. So this way you can interact with your chatbot privately and they can ask it questions. Let's say if you want it so that it's only enabled for the public, you can then copy this. You can then have it so that anyone with this link can access your public chatbot interface. You can ask it questions what is this firm and it will give you a response within a couple of seconds so we're going to send this in and it'll give us a good description of what the firm is and now if we are to go back here we're going to be able to utilize all these different features where we can embed it into a website where you can change the width of the chatbot the height you can change the prompting of it you can automatically reset the previous conversations and you can have it so that you can copy this and then you can embed it into whatever html link you have a live chat that you can access and you can basically save it to certain domains. You have a chat window that you can edit, search engine, search generative experiences, as well as APIs that can be integrated. And you can create an API for this custom GP that you just used. Now, I'm not going to be going into the specifications of each of these features because it's just it just would create a one hour video. But they have a good documentation as to how you can do this and how you can utilize these custom GPTs and how you can embed it. So with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it this is definitely an amazing tool that is really beneficial you're going to be able to create custom gpts and this could be used for your personal use case as well as selling it and monetizing these gpts so that you can sell it to a business potentially and this would be able to definitely help you out a lot but if you want me to make more practical videos with custom gpt definitely let me know and i'll definitely do so but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value i will leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below make sure you follow me on patreon page this is a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter it's a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe 
turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.